Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Dr. Fred. Um, today I'm going to be doing the uh, pork tenderloin that I teased about during the uh, cream spinach uh, episode. And so, see why I did them separately is because you can have that cream spinach with anything. You can have it with a steak, you can have it with tofu, you can have it with anything you like. Um, so it really doesn't matter. And the pork, same thing, you could have whatever vegetable you want with it. Um, it doesn't really matter. So these recipes can go together. You could think of them as a menu, or you could think of it just as individualized ingredients. So I'm gonna pour a little macnut oil into this grill pan, which I like because it has ridges. Um, and you can move the, the thing around. I'll show you what I tend to do. So we'll, we'll turn this on. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna put this on sort of, because we're gonna wanna sear this. So basically what you do is end up searing this on one side. Uh, then you sear it on the other, then you put it in the broiler. And the broiler, so this whole meal, you saw that the uh, cream spinach took about five minutes. Um, and if you did not see that uh, video, I trust that you will soon. And then the pork is gonna take probably a couple minutes on this side, couple minutes on the other, same in the oven. Uh, and you do not wanna overcook the pork tenderloin because it will be dry and awful. Some people like it that way, I don't. Um, pork can also be cooked um, medium rare, which is how I generally cook this, and it comes, it tastes delicious. And the reason why we're using macadamia nut oil, for those of you who have forgotten, 80% monounsaturated fats, which are the heart healthiest fats for your heart. Um, Omega-9s, that's what these are. And pork, the reason I, cho I chose pork is because pork is the other white meat, and that's really true. It is, um, it's, it's uh, got a lower fat content and the pork tenderloin has the lowest fat content of any piece of pork, just like a filet mignon would. So that's why it's gonna be so tasty and good. So you kind of, I just kind of judge if the oil's starting to turn a little white. So here's what I'll do. So, oh, I forgot to tell you the best part. So I marinated this, that's why I didn't just take it out of the package. I marinated this with some green chili sea salt, which is delicious. And then they call this um, Panch Foran. Um, I don't recall what country that's from. It kind of looks like it's from, uh, um, it looks Thai almost. But anyway, I'm not gonna pretend to know what it, what it is, but I, it's organic yellow mustard, organic black caraway, um, organic cumin, we all know of curcuminoids, um, and organic fennel which is another great antioxidant, along with fenugreek, which is great for diabetics. So this little spice thing, I mean, this, you know, spices are Mother Nature's really best helpers. They've got so many antioxidants and bioflavonoids and all of that. The one thing I will say about spices, though, is that you should make sure that you get them, hopefully grown in the United States, hopefully organic, because any spice that has to come out of the, from out of this country into this country has to be radiated. So it's kind of nice to not have some radiation in your food. That'd be nice, right? Just saying. Okay, time to do it. Oh, nice, there you go. That's the sound you wanna hear. That's the sound I was hoping. Now, normally I would have Siri time this for me, but since I'm using Siri at the moment, uh, she's otherwise occupied. So we're gonna uh, count down two minutes on this side. So I'm just gonna look at the clock there, and then we'll do two minutes on the other side and then we're gonna stick it in the oven. So I'll come back after I've done that because you don't need to sit here and watch a piece of meat sort of get seared. It's kind of like watching water boil, I would think, um, except when you're doing the cooking and then it's really fun. All right, I'll be back. I wasn't going to bring you back so soon, but do you see this little caramelization where you get the spices because it's been sauteed? And then there's um, a caramelizer because the macadamia nut oil doesn't burn, and you get the nice sear from this from this pan. So I'm not sure what it is. Oh, that's hot. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's there. Trust me. All right. So in another, I don't know, 30 seconds. We'll put this into the into the oven and let the oven do its thing. In the meantime, I'll just eat this delicious cream spinach. Didn't think that was annoying. Where did it? Hmm. Delish. Okay, here it goes. Three, 
three minutes per side. Be right back. Hello again, welcome back. Oops, and now for the favorite part is taking it out of the oven. So eight minutes has elapsed since I've spoken to you last, and we are now going to pull it out of the oven and see how delicious it looks. Oh my God. The smoke alarm's going to go off in my apartment. The smoke alarm won't go off in my apartment, so there it is. Look at that, couldn't be any more delicious. Take it out of the pan, put it on here. I'm gonna put this under the water so the, oh. Okay, how'd you like that? And now, to this side, you just take a little off. Perfectly cooked, every time. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do, because now I'm gonna go eat dinner. Ne Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred, and this is Cooking with Dr. Fred Show, or something of that nature. Bye.